Hi friend, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you in detail, how to wind the pulse transformer to get a 220 volt supply down to your desired voltage, with a capacity of 400 watts. Circuit with full overload protection function, automatically changing fan speed according to temperature. You can use this circuit as a test power supply, or a source for home audio amplifiers, with its convenience and power. I'm sure you will succeed the first time. I have a lot of computer power supplies with broken control circuits. However, the transformer, capacitor, resistor, and other electronic components are still in good working order. For example, for the transformer EE35 here, I just need to remove it and rewind the wire as desired, we have a good transformer. Capacitors, heat sinks, and resistors are all reusable. Next, I will show you more details of the circuit and guide you to wrap the transformer after the sponsor's advertisement. These are custom 3D printed enclosures from a $1 service from JLCPCB. By 3D printing, your enclosure with JLCPCB, you can create a finished product experience for your hardware. Price as low as 7 cents per G. Step 1, Upload your 3D files. Upload your CAD file online and select materials to get an instant quote, price starts from $1. Step 2, 3D printing it. Our industrial 3D printers and professional operators will produce your prototypes and end-use parts with the highest quality. Step 3, Delivery straight to you. JLCPCB 3D printing service covers a worldwide delivery, we will ship parts to your doors directly from our 3D printing factory. Here is the schematic diagram of the circuit. Thanks to Aka Kazian for sharing this circuit. You can visit the author's YouTube channel in the description for more details. Basically, 220 volt AC mains voltage will be filtered through an inductor, then rectified to DC voltage through bridge diodes, and flattened by capacitors. The fuse and NTC help protect the circuit in the event of a fault. Power capacitors should have a capacity of 330 microfarads or more. A 0.47 ohm power resistor is attached to the S-pin of the MOSFET. When the circuit's overload capacity, combined with some transistors, it will interrupt the oscillation of ICIR2153 to help protect the circuit. When there is an overload at the output, the circuit will automatically cut off the output voltage. The LED will light up indicating that the protection circuit is working. At the output voltage is rectified through four diodes to provide for the load, in addition, another voltage is supplied to the fan, which automatically adjusts the fan speed according to the temperature. The output rectifier diode is used as FR307, MUR460, or equivalent. Capacitors use four capacitors 470 or 680 microfarads. The speed control circuit will rely on the 10 kilo ohm thermal sensor to change the speed of the cooling fan. This is the EE35 transformer I removed from my old PC power supply after removing the winding. The dimensions of the transformer are shown above. I use a 0.5 mm diameter magnet wire for the winding primary of the transformer.
I will win the primary coil 40 turns. Secondary I use list wire 20 by 0.3 mm. For details on how to wrap the wire, see the following picture. Here is the transformer after finishing. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.